Hi everyone and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from Indie Productions and today I'd like to talk to you about 2017's The Black Gloves, which we got to view after pledging to its Kickstarter campaign. The Black Gloves is brought to us by Scottish indie filmmaker Laurie Brewster uh, from Hex Media. Thank you, Laurie, for sending us a link to view the film and thank you to Sarah Daly, who wrote the script and sent us all the material for the review. The Black Gloves is Brewster's fourth feature as director and fifth as producer. The story follows a young psychologist, Dr. Finn Galloway, played by Jamie Scott Gordon. Finn is tormented because he lost a patient, a teenage girl named Susan Barrow. Susan seemed to be burdened by a recurring character in Laurie's work, uh, the Owl Man, and after losing her, Finn becomes filled with guilt. Finn's quest for redemption leads him to a house belonging to a reclusive ballerina, Eliza Gray, played by Alexandra Nicole Holm. My name is Finn Gallery. I'm a psychologist. I've come here because I believe I can help Miss Gray. Eliza was also said to be burdened by the same owl man, so uh, Finn decides to stick around and try and help her heal, uh, despite the ominous vibe he kept getting from her disobliging and creepy caretaker, Lorena Velasco, played by Macarena Gomez. Everyone who comes here wants something. What is it that you want? Like I said, I just want to help. The film is visually astounding, packed with breathtaking shots, meticulously and professionally executed. Shot in black and white, The Black Gloves gives homage to classic 1940s horror films. The visual style, the effects, the makeup, even the credits and the poster design are all an ode to the era and genre. Except for a few choices I didn't quite understand but could easily be pegged as a part of the uh, experimental element in the film, I was captivated and inspired all the way through. Uh, the, there's no doubt that the people behind this project are top-level professionals. The performances were precise and amplified just enough to also give homage to the era. Uh, it may testify to Brewster's attention to detail as well as to the actors' total immersion in their respective roles. It's interesting to experience the mystery behind what drives certain characters. Um, you know where Finn is coming from. He wants nothing more than to help Eliza. Uh, but you don't know what Eliza or Lorena want. Um, their drive is more obscure, so you might feel compelled to explore, like Finn did. To sum up, if you're a fan of the genre and era, or maybe you have a flair for high-level cinematography, or maybe you just want to be inspired, then I highly recommend you watch this film. The Black Gloves gets an 8 out of 10 on the Look At Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. Go check it out for yourselves, it's available either on Amazon or as a collector's edition on Hex Media TV's official website, links in the description. There's a chance that they might be out of stock on Hex Media TV, so uh, keep an eye out. Uh, also look out for Brewster's latest project, Automata, due to be out later this year. Until next time, keep supporting indie film. My name is Asaf Angel and thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog.